Hey, it's the Midnight Round, and today it is Saturday, and that can only mean one thing. It was Subway Saturday. If you haven't seen the live stream, go check that out. We talked for about an hour and a half, two hours. Um, it means it's market day, and that can only mean one thing. We got some market goodies. So all of this is food and drink because there are some really nice stalls on our market. One of them is a bakery, and the other guy that I buy stuff off is what we call a all-rounder food guy. Drink, food, bread. He sells quite a lot of stuff. So this is one of the new market stalls that they have, and it's called Brown Bread Bakery. They've only been coming a couple of weeks. I usually see them in Durham, uh, but they've come to Swaffham now um, the last couple of weeks. We got two items. Once again, give it a big thumbs up as well. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe. Um, this is a cheese and tomato focaccia homemade bread. And it smells lush. I will put that in the oven and warm it slightly. That was £2.59. I know what you're going to say. That's a lot for a tiny little bread. And it is. But it is homemade and it tastes magnifique. Then I got myself a little treat. Um, I'm going to the gym tonight, and I've done the gym the last three out of four days, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to treat myself. I got myself this delicious £2.50 rainbow cake. Now, look at that. That is to die for. I'm going to put a picture on Instagram of it of what it looks like and in the discord so if you need to see an up and close personal picture of my cake it's called a rainbow cake it is two pounds fifty a slice they do sell bread um they do scones they do cakes they do all so much um maybe i'll have to film it one day and show you what they actually do uh, they do sausage rolls they do bacon and cheese wraps uh donuts muffins all all, all handmade as well so that's good okay so we've got a lot of stuff from this one shop one thing i did get was this to try and this was from jana's market which is a shop in town and this is moose juice extreme energy blue raspberry sugar free i'm going to take that with me to the gym uh, it's going to be my energy drink for today um i only usually do energy drinks if they're like zero sugar and i very rarely have one but my son said that this sounded interesting with the mousse he got a i think it was a berry one and i got a blue raspberry i think his was berry juice or something but they were one pound sixty so quite expensive for an energy drink apparently they were an american energy drink so that's you know import and all that okay so we got a bunch of crisps let's go for some of the juices so i got this to try party parrot black currant and apple these were 20 pence um and i thought i would try i'm gonna guess it's gonna be similar to like a fruit shoot or a juice but we got that for 20p and i will partake of that at some point this i got for my son now this is the rubicon sparkling rose lemonade made with real fruit juice now, I know he likes the normal Rubicon, but I didn't know if he'd drink rose lemonade. So, these were 50p a bottle. So, I thought I would... Is it 50p a bottle? I think it was 50p a bottle. Uh, and I thought I would try that. If you've tried Rubicon before, there are two or three different ones. But that one really did pique my interest. Okay, let's look at some of the snacks. So, some of the snacks were we got three lots of the discos for a pound and these are discos cheese and onion flavor they're 50 pence each or three for a pound and i used to love discos my favorite were the salt and vinegar but they were really strong so i thought i would try the cheese and onion they're meant to be one pound 25 i got three for a pound so if not they're 50 pence each so i did get quite a deal let me know down below your favorite type of crisp and your favorite flavor um then i got these for my son to try these are the fairland field roast rib of beef pan cooked potato chips these are vegan and gluten free and on the path to a carbon neutral so they're a family 
farm uh, using renewable energy to grow potatoes. And I thought he'd enjoy that because he does like things like ribeye and steak and stuff like that. So I thought a roast rib of beef. They were in the three for a pound. And then for the three for a pound, I also got these. And these are the slanty, ready to eat potato chips. These are just plain salted potato chips. Um, don't really know much about them. Um, I don't even know where they're from. Uh, I don't know anything about these. These are just plain potato chips in this kind of style. And they're just called slanty. And they were on the three for a pound. And then I also got some golden wonder spring onion these were also in the three for a pound now these ones i do find quite tangy um i have to eat like half a bag and then half a bag like because although i love spring onion i do find it quite tangy um even more tangier than salt and vinegar um so i got a bag of them like i said let me know your favorite brand of crisp and your favorite flavor as well and then I got some of the Transformer Snack Cheese and Onion to try. Uh, these are like old school crisps. You used to be able to get Space Invaders and, and all of that for like 10 pence. These are Transformer Snacks where you can like make a car out of it. They were the competitors of Space Invaders back in the day. Uh, they brought out Transformer Snacks. Space Invaders came out. I can't remember who they were made by. Um, but yeah, Space Invaders were like 10, another like 25p a pack. And these are like 50p. Uh, and I do like cheese and onion. Okay, so. Okay, what else did we get? Ooh. Okay, something that isn't crisp, but the crisps are three for a pound. Then I got these to try. These are sour cherry and dark chocolate sweet biscuit bites deliciously crunchy handcrafted biscuits i thought this sounded good because i love dark chocolate i am a a good cow cow flavor of dark chocolate but i didn't know how i'd feel about the sour cherry because the idea is the bitterness of the chocolate and the cherry kind of even each other up because of the sweetness and the and the bitterness and they like level each other up or even each other out and uh they were i think it was 50p a box or a pound i got them to try okay uh, then we got some taste of norfolk's gourmet norfolk biscuits triple chocolate cookies now most of these all you'll find have either got a short date or out of date or going to be out of date these cookies uh, are actually valid until uh, July. Some of the stuff you'll find has a short date or have gone at a date, but most of the time they're still fine. I've never really had a problem with any of his products that I bought that are out of date because they're only out of date for the shops. It's not an out of date as in the item can't be sold. It's an out of date of when the shops prefer to sell it by. But buying out of date stuff, unless it's like green, molding, has a bad smell, or depending on what it is, it changed the consistency of it. I don't see a problem. Like cookies, these are perfectly fine. Um, you do find that cookies dry out after a while. That's why they have the date, because the cookies will just dry. But we've got these, and they are proper, proper chunks. Okay. So I know what you're going to say. It's not healthy. I know. Next, we've got, we've got these to try. These are Mr. Organic. These are Italian organic hand-stretched Linguetta or Lingetta flatbreads. These are handmade from a ling... something using extra virgin oil. You can read the front of it. Read it. Um, so apparently these are to be used with either a salad, a soup, or you can just crunch away or put them in a dip. Um, so they're kind of... Kind of look interesting. I wonder if they do like other ones that are like cheese based or herb based. So I thought we'd start with these ones and and see. I don't see uh sell by date is the twenty sixth of 
of March. So they've got a very short date. I mean, that's literally a few days away, but they should be fine for a couple of days at least. So these, I think, were a pound or 50p. Um, so I'm going to try them. I might butter them a bit, put some cheese on them, or I might dip them in some soup and soften them up a bit. Okay. Next, we got these for my son to try. And these are the Golden Wonders Spicy Thai. Now, he has a thing for spice. Spicy noodles, spicy food, curries. So I thought I'd get Spicy Thai Ring of Fire Golden Wonders. I don't know how spicy they are. Um, but they're 99 calories per serving, which is perfect because he does go to the gym with me. Um, and it just says a flavor potato sack, uh, flavor potato snack with rye, uh, rye and wheat. Um, and they're valid until the 30th of March. So he's got a week to eat them and with them being in a packet, it's fine. So what I mean by a short date, they're either close to being out of date, nearly out of date or going to be out of date. So. I thought I would try, he could try them. Next, we got some of the classics. Fish and chips in salt and vinegar. Who remembers these? All these crisps were three packs for a pound, which is a bargain price. So I got the traditional Burton's fish and chips. Oh, the good old days. And these really are nice. These are these are so Moorish. If you've never tried these before, I highly recommend that you try them if you can get them where you are. Because you won't. You won't forget trying them. They are magnifique. Okay. Couple of bits left. We got my son some on-the-go chocolate. And these are Kinder Buenos. Now, the only reason I bought three... It's because he was selling them three for a pound. And a Kinder Buenos are nearly 90 pence in store. And this is his favourite chocolate. And I do like to treat myself, my treat my son once in a while. Not me, because I'm allergic to nuts. Uh, treat my son once in a while. And he does like Kinder Buenos, but they are so expensive. Individually, you know, a pound for a chocolate bar. Is it expensive? maybe um but three for a pound boy oh boy oh boy he's getting some chocolate this week so we've got the kinder brenner he likes to have these when he goes to his girlfriend so he can have like a snack in his pocket um and he could also use these as an after snack for the gym you know something to give him that little bit of sugar and then i bought one last item for myself the one the only viscount who remembers viscount they do Viscount Orange and Viscount Mint. And these are old school biscuits. Old school biscuits. I got these for 50 pence. And these are the mint cream layered in a smooth milk chocolate with a coating. And they come in this foil green wrapper so you knew the difference between the mint ones and the orange ones. And they're an old school treat. Old school. Um, so... We've got a couple of biscuits. My son got a couple of chocky bars. We've got some crisps to try because we don't have crisps very often. Um, but on market day, we do pick up a few bags uh, just to have around the house. Because as you can see, between the two of us, you know, we've got, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bags. So that's four bags a week. I mean, and some of these bags are like tiny. We don't really eat crisps, if I'm honest. I'm not a big crisp lover, to be fair. I do like to try different ones. Like, these ones really interest me because they're plain. Um, and I do like some of the old school crisps from my childhood. You know, a bit of, bit of nostalgia going there. Um... And then I like trying things like this that are just new, that I wouldn't necessarily see in Tesco's. I'm sure they probably sell them in Tesco's, but maybe because of the price, I've just walked straight past them. These interest me, but I'm not sure about the cherry. Um, oh. And then the, the crisps for my son and the cookies. You know, I'll have one of them cookies and that'll be it for a couple of days. 
couple of drinks to try for him. Because my son's only 16. He's still at that age where he's quite fussy when it comes to eating. Um, and the market, I spent eight quid on all of that. And then the the rainbow cake and the focaccia were £2.50 each. So, you know, I spent £13 and I got enough snacks for maybe a week or two. Um, I don't always buy snacks on a Saturday. I tend to because the market's quite cheap. You know, three bags of crisps for a pound of different sizes, different flavours. If not, you're just going to a supermarket and paying £2 for really tiny crisps. All the same flavours, although you could buy a multi-bag, but then you're just stuck with things like walkers. And I do like the fact that he can try a spicy tie, a spring onion, a plain, and they're only three for a pound. Um, but yeah, check out your local markets. You know, sometimes you've got to pay a little bit more if you want to get that good stuff, you know, something that really tastes good. And then, obviously, I don't recommend getting energy drinks, to be fair. But occasionally, I like to have one. My sugar levels do dip. This is sugar-free, mind you, so it's not because I need a sugar boost. My son thought it looked quite cool because we're going to the gym and it's like a muscly moose. Um, but, yeah, if you want to like and subscribe and give us a big thumbs up, comment down below, like I said, your favourite crisp flavour and your favourite crisp brand. Um, personally, I like kettle crisps, <laughs> but they're more expensive. Um, but, uh, yeah, if you want to do that, if you want to support the channel or PayPal, Super Chat, Super Thanks, become a member. Uh, I have been putting more videos to members only. Gonna make that dough somehow. Uh, if you want to see me on Twitter or Instagram or TikTok, links in the description. And I will see you very soon for another video. Take care and thanks for watching. Bye, guys.